take a container and fill it with warm water. Now take some old newspapers, old used sheets etc and cut it into small pieces and dip them in water. Warm water will make this process faster and easier. Keep it aside for one or two hours. On a new adventure. Now take a mixer or grinder and make a paste of the paper. Now add some glue to make it stick. And lastly, grind it again. Now take a piece of cardboard and cut it in the shape of a plant cell. Thoroughly apply glue on the top to make the paper mache paste stick to it. Now thoroughly spread a thin layer of paper mache on it. Don't forget those corners. Now I'm starting with the cell wall, so make a border all around the boundaries. Make sure not to make this too thick, there should also be some space left for the cell membrane. Now in the same way, make the cell membrane. Now I'm making the vacuole because it takes so much space in the plant cell. I started making an oval and then increased it to an irregular shape. Here I'm making the nucleus just besides the vacuole. Here I'm making mitochondria and chloroplast. Now I'm making the Golgi apparatus. Make sure to take small quantities at a time to avoid mess. The cell is now complete. Here it is after one day, completely dry, so let's start painting. You can use poster colors or fevifil colors or watercolors, any colors you have. So I started here by using yellow color for the cytoplasm. Now I'm doing green for both cell membrane and cell wall. For the vacuole, I'm using light blue. Red 
for mitochondria a different shade of green for chloroplast orange for golgi apparatus here i'm using these small wooden beads for ribosomes and our plant cell is now complete You can also make this type of trays with the leftover paper mache pulp.